What's up everybody, it's Monster Core Arcade. I'm Johnny Hardcore. And there's Jax. Jax, say what's up to Monster Core Arcade. Um. Gotta give him like this, look, like this. That's right. All right, so, there's a lot going on down here in the Monster Core Arcade today. Jax is doing his Monster core, monster core on the pool table, right? Monster core racing. Got a bunch of play field glass still have to be put away, yeah. right? We don't go near there right now, right? That's 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 uh, off limits. All right. So anyway, I'm just showing you my game plan right now. So this pathway right here, the pathway that is completely open, right? You can see there's nothing in this pathway. So. Probably before I go to bed, in order for me to have a less stressful day tomorrow, I'm going to have to move all these arcade games. And mind you, there's one more back there, Paperboy. Can you see Paperboy? What's up, Paperboy? Alright, so I have to move all these games for them. Actually, I gotta move most of them because I could probably move Paperboy and Gorf over that way. Right over this way, in place of this guy right here, Tales from the Crypt, because Tales from the Crypt more than likely is going to be sold to Maru. Yeah, it's going to be sold tomorrow. And all these video games, in order for me to get this Tales from the Crypt out, must be moved into this aisle, aisle, which is very, very, very just enough room, like 24 inches or 26 inches with this gun right here, last action hero gun, right, a lethal weapon 3 gun, yeah, so in order for me to move a game out of here, it's like playing Tetris, like I've said many a times, and it's all good, it's the way it is, I'm, I'm up for it, and then, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, I have to make some maneuvers in here, which is going to be interesting. This is the fun part. So now, this is this is where it gets tricky. As q and WrestleFest blast my ears. In order for me to get this pinball machine out of here, I have to move these games too. I'm pretty sure. Definitely, definitely need to make some moves. Yeah. But that's the way it goes. Um, thank God all the games are on wheels except for those two right there. The two, two small ones which I left by myself. They just have to be, you know, maneuvered. But um, yeah man, that's the move. See, I'm trying to think if I can get away with just moving the, the video games over here. Like on this side. Very possible. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm up for it. I'm up for the challenge. It'll be all right. Figure it out. Um, just got to make some maneuvers. But I will. I'm going to probably have to uh, condense these guys right here. Move them up a little bit. Squeeze them. Move them over. Like um, just the heads. Like put the head next to the, you know, on top of the play field. And then this one down and move in the play field. But I will do that in a little while. I'm gonna enjoy some Al with my SHV, the Sound of Vikinga. I'm gonna play some some last games of Tales from the Crypt, which is I wouldn't say unfortunately leaving the collection, but going to someone else that has the room. We need the room. And um the time has come.
And it's a beautiful game too. So this guy that's getting this game, Sean, he's going to do very well. He's going to be very happy with it. It's an import, but it has everything. So you don't look back. And I remember when I got this game years ago, almost, a, I don't know if it, I would say a decade ago, but, but around there. And this was the one that I was keeping. So I remember I got another one too in my travels. But I flipped that one. So it's just the way it goes. In order to pay for your habit, your hobby, whatever you want to call this thing. Your obsession. No, it's not obsession. Um, anyway. So when, when my Sally Vikian gets here, my, my Vanessa, we're going to have some ale. We're going to relax a little bit more. Um, Jax is back. And he's very happy being on his pool table. Like I said to you before, this is the Monster Core pool table. He likes to play with his monster trucks, as you can see right here. He's not camera shy either, like both Jonathan and Tabby are. He plays, he puts the blue tape to make the crush cars stay together, right? And then he puts all the blue tape on these guys because that's just what he does. And that's all good, right? Yeah. yeah. I try to make backflips out of them. Oh, they're backflip monster truck ramps. Gotcha. Gotcha. Is that USA 1? So we got USA 1 here. Anybody know about and USA bare, 1? And Barefoot is right over there. And then Barefoot was, well, they're teammates now. USA 1 and Barefoot. The guy bought, this guy bought like so many monster trucks. And, then, uh, and I, I might drive for them too, which yeah. is something that, as you can see, very into monster trucks. Collecting for almost 12 years. Race Ace is retired. I know we're going off in the tangent right now into another yeah. realm. That's Spike. Spike. Like I said before, in other videos, this stuff is going outside. I just have to figure out if it can be, be outside without, without the elements destroying it. But um, it's going to be more play with outside when it's time for the, uh, the pool and the backyard. Um, I don't know, just walking around the game room trying to uh, get ready for this move. It's, it's it's crazy to say like a lot of it was done and it's like now it's gonna get all insane again like the move that I'm gonna make right now is gonna make everything look like it's really really not organized but it's like it's gonna get more you know what actually is gonna happen tomorrow if this happens you know what happens so the guy that's coming is gonna help me get this game up the stairs with his kids I'm strong I can handle a lot of it but I, I definitely need a spot when it comes to lifting pinball machines up out of the basement going down the stairs I mean I don't need that much help I don't have the mechanical hand truck I have the you know the old doohickey that you have to use your, your broad and muscles but um what will happen tomorrow which is something that's gonna happen tomorrow night actually is I'm gonna get him to help me to take out paperboy so that's gonna be a maneuver, a maneuver too so I have to remember I'm doing this because right now I'm plotting as I'm talking to you like, I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to YouTubers out there. Everybody that watches YouTube, like myself. And, um, so Paperboy's gonna go upstairs now because it's dead. It needs a lot of, it needs work. You know, not a lot of work, but it needs work. And I'm not gonna leave it in the basement. It just doesn't, I mean, I wanna have everything in the basement working as much as I can. That could go in the shed or the garage. Not the, the garage, it's gonna go in the shed. The shed is gonna be the, the graveyard or the emergency room for, for arcade games. So that's gonna go upstairs. So two two games will be out of here tomorrow night. That means that we'll get back this entire row, right? Gorf will go back where it goes over there and then it'll look really cool. This mirror right here will get faced behind where Gorf is. So it'll give it that nice 3D effect. Not 3D effect, the infinity effect. Like the infinity backlash of black hole. So um that that's that's what I that's what I'm uh like hoping happens tomorrow. That's that's how I could say it, hoping. Cause nothing ever, nothing ever happens and nothing ever it is until it is so but anyway we're gonna play some tales from the crypt a little while i'm gonna set up the tripod or I'll, actually i'm gonna we're gonna take turns video recording and playing together and um enjoy this game for the last part and we definitely we'll look to get one of these again in the future when the right time comes and if there's a good trade out there or a good score you know we sometimes you get lucky 
and then we'll take it from there. All right, I'm gonna press pause. I'm gonna let this video go a little while. I'm gonna play some more video ga more uh, games here. Tabi was down here before playing with Jacks, playing the running game, right? What do you call it? What's the running game? Track and field. So he was playing track and field before. Yesterday we were playing Rampage, right? Right, Rampage is good. But we only have the two player Rampage, not three player Rampage. The wolf is Ralph, the the gorilla is George, and the, I guess the alligator? Alligator lizard is Lizzie. No, it's not, it's not an alligator, it's um... I think it's an alligator. Yeah, it is an alligator. I think it's an alligator, if I remember correctly. Jack's had his chips and dip. It's always good to have some chips and dip. Time for flash. That's another F. Flash. You have to remember that. See, there is an F monster truck name. Flash. What do we do before we go to bed? ABC Monster Say that again when you finish chewing. ABC Monster Truck. So we say the ABC. I taught Jax his ABCs when he was very, very little. And I would sing the ABC song. But then, because this kid right here, my my last son, loves Monster Trucks. Yeah. Right? Loves them. And he, he was able to dive into them because my other son, Jonathan, and my daughter, Tabby, loved monster trucks too. So when Jax came around and he started knowing what was going on, he had doubt, literally over a thousand monster trucks to play with and, and all these play sets. But these play sets weren't, weren't, my, weren't Jonathan's. These were actually, these were bought for Jax and Jonathan when Jax was born, so. But we did have a lot of stuff. We did have a lot of, a lot of monster trucks. So he loves it, absolutely loves it. But anyway, all right, going back to the pinball, just want to show you what I've been doing. So, I don't know what's going on with this one yet, that Star Wars, the guy that wants this is, is not too close, and it's a lot of money for shipping, and, you know, he's probably just not fed up, but he, it's just, we don't know how to handle the shipping. But um, I took it up, I put it the, the play field up, and I did some more work to it, put some more, some, put some flashes in there. So every one of the flashes now have... LED flashes because they didn't have them. I must have put in about 10, 10 flashes in this game. Um, the back back glass has full LED now, and this play field I'm gonna say is probably like 90% to almost 100% LEDs. And it's all figured out. There's no problems with it whatsoever. It's ready to go. So we'll see what happens when that time comes. And this one too. This is up for sale. These two big boys right here. Strain the things premium. Primo. Zigga zigga zow. Oh, no, no, no. I wasn't ready for that. I think they get me copyrighted. So I have to walk away. Demodog targets for a demodog attack. Here you can have that one. <clears throat> And also what I wanted to do, like I said to you before in other videos, when I start messing with one game and I start moving games around and I like get to one game like say Tron with the beautiful new marquee from Disney. Um, inside Tron, I pretty, no, actually no, it's not. But I'm gonna just take, take a look at the background. But I need to send the board back or at least find this board for this game and then fix it because that's the reason why it's not working. And that's why there's a box there with some bubble tape, bubble wrap, it's because it needs to, this game needs to be shipped out. I mean, the board needs to be shipped out and it'll work. It's really nothing wrong with it. It's just that. Remember I said I wanted to plug in PV Pac-Man? Oh, I plugged it in, yes. Plug it in, plug it in. Still haven't gotten the Guns N' Roses. And I'm gonna say that after this, after tomorrow, I have no idea how this basement's gonna look. I'm gonna show you actually, tomorrow night after it's done and said and done, what it looks like. Cause I really don't think I'm putting stuff back right away. Tomorrow's gonna be a long night. Not a bad one, productive. But it's gonna be very, very uh, cluttered once again. Which is all good. 
One thing I did back there is I put an LED light behind that topper of um, of a black hole, which I think looks pretty cool. The only thing I don't like about it is those uh, the um, the things I put on the back of the topper to to uh, stand it up because it didn't come with any kind of uh, clip or something, or any kind of um, anchor, whatever you want to call it. So, whatever. All right. Anybody still watching, just want to say thank you for subscribing to our channel because I know a lot of people have been subscribing and I appreciate that. And I definitely ask you to leave comments and tell us what you think, tell us what you got. If you're interested in any of our games and you're in the New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania area, just send me a message or a comment. You can also get at us on uh, Monster Core Arcade on Instagram and TikTok. Not on Facebook though. Just Monster Core on Facebook. I, I mean, Monster Core is our main, our main uh, production name. So if you want to get uh, get at us, you can always do it through Monster Core. But um, it's gonna, there's gonna be one dedicated to arcades, which I do have. I just real push it right now. And also, just wanted to say that um, I am feeling a lot better. Anyone that, that knows what I was going through the last couple, probably a month and a half ago. I feel a lot better, thank God. My, my chest pains are pretty much gone. I do watch what I eat. I'm not eating any acidic food and there's no more caffeine in my diet. I completely quit caffeine, you know, it's no big deal. Just no coffee, which you know some people live on, which I also did for you know for years. I loved my coffee in the morning, especially. But you know when you overdo something, it's not good. So I think I probably was drinking a little too much coffee, and that, that probably did me in. <clears throat> and then that makes me not be able to have certain things like acidic foods and whatever. But it's all good. And blasting Cuba back there is also up for grabs. I need a cap kit. Other than that, it's good to go. And then you can mess with it yourself and restore it. There's plenty of things to do to Qbert. They have the K's Arcade multi-board that you can make it into a multi-game that has like seven, seven to 15 godly of games that you can't even get. What was the other game I just heard of that you can have like a multi-game? I just heard of one. So I can't remember, I just heard it, man. Oh. It was interesting too. Uh, if I think of it, it'll come to me. There was another. It was one of these games, man. One of the games I have. It wasn't go. Oh, Tron. Was it on the Tron game? I think it might be on the Tron game, and it's it's um the Devil game. What the heck's the name of that game? Oh man, I can't remember. The Satan's Hollow. Satan's Hollow. You get a like it's a whatever they whatever it is it's a chip or a board or something like that it's not I don't think it's that much money and you put it in and then you can play both games on a Tron that's really cool definitely gonna get that if uh, I can I forget what, who I was watching it on I don't, know if, I don't know if it was Troy's arcade or um, man it was one of the arcade guys not a pinball guy an arcade guy all right man everybody hanging out just walking around the arcade. I gotta probably just start getting to work, so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the uh, the camera on tripod mode, get some watch time, and if you wanna hang out and have a cold one, that's awesome, because I'm definitely having a couple, and gonna have some ads. I'm gonna enjoy my night with my sound here by Kinga, and my little dude right there. What's your name again? Jax. Jax what? Jax That's right. And what do we always do? We, what? We're always hanging hardcore. Right now we're gaming hardcore, right? Oh, I thought I was gonna put this I thought I was gonna put this can up there, but no we have one already. Yeah, you can have that one. This one. It's can. Tangerine peel. Acidic. Acidic and caffeine. I mean uh, acidic and 
alcohol, not good. Well, I'll just show you a couple of things before I put the tripod on. I wanted to get to this, I just couldn't do it. Put this guy in for the uh, subwoofer. Cause I, I found a couple other subwoofers down here which I've had for years. Now I'm finally making use of them. But um, yeah, that'll that'll rock that game, man. That game, probably every pinball machine sounds incredible. And even Stranger Things. Let's Stranger Things has a bass again. speaker underneath it. It's gonna sound even crazier. Cause that sounds sick. I should probably put it in that one. We'll see. See what we do. All right, let's pearl, let's press pause. I'll set this tripod up somewhere, and we're gonna let it run until it, it, run, it runs out and enjoy a nice night. What? Enjoy Whoever's nice say it again. Whoever's here, enjoy a nice night. Enjoy a nice night. Yeah. Yep. Oh, have a good sleep. Have a good sleep soon, but not yet, right? Because we're still hanging out. And have, have great dreams. That's right. Have great dreams. And take care of yourself, right? Yeah. Yes. All right. My little dude. Right, so I'm gonna put some pimbo glass back in the play fields. That's a few, that's like actually being productive right now. Just throw it up, Byron. What is that game? What is that game? Well, I gotta put that back in the IP right now, but I don't know if I get to it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see.
open up. It could have been, well, the first one I got was actually the one I bought and jump. When he jumped back, he was. The first one I did get, no. The first one I did, I, the first one I found was Matahari. I think I told you that before. Which one? Matahari. It's not here anymore. We sold, I had like three Mataharis. But the first one I got, I actually sold it. Wait, do you have, do you have Matahari now? No, I sold it. I'll give it to you one second. Just Jax, take this. Take the thing. I need you to move these guys just for a minute. I gotta move this too. Guys, move this ramp. Put on the over here for him. Jack, just stand on there for one second. No, that has to be moved too. Because I need to move. I mean, I usually use like paper to do this, but the bottom is going to go second. Don't touch that, okay? I mean, I wanted to do a couple of things to this game before I put the plate plug glass back in. Let me get this. I just, just didn't have the charge, so I need to push. No, no, don't go there. Go away. Not yet. Let me get these out of the way. You can spray, you can spray the top when it's in the pinball machine. You have to wait, like, you have to, like, do it now. Like I, like I was saying, there's so many things to do. This lockdown bar is like so crudded out and down here. Like, you know, I'm sure anal guys that are really would scrape this thing down and put a whole new thing in. I don't have time for that right now. So we'll get to it, just like, just like that. I watch uh, one of the guys' channels. What I, what I have a couple, you know, sometimes here there. Pitbull Shanigans, Mike, Mike Diamonds, Mike Dias, Dyson. I like him. I like the way he does his Dad, videos. Look. It's calming. Move Patrol! That's a great game. Um, but he, he has something called Grassley Garage. I don't know really you know what, what these guys do. But since the year started, 2024, they bought, I'm going to see, 20 pebble machines and, and high end names like Adam's Family, Twilight Zone, even higher names and bigger names and stuff like that. And then they, they tear him down, like they tear him down to like the bones. And this one guy, like, looks like a surfer dude. Because, you know, he's, he looks like, definitely looks like, you know what it looks like to me? It looks like a board shaper. Like he shapes surfboards and stuff like that. So it's, that's like a skill that you just can't teach. You know, it's something that's really like a, just a laid back, cool, cool technique to be a surfer and just to shape boards and stuff like that. So anyway, so I watched them and I'm like, man, it's like, I wish. These guys are my friends, but they're in Canada, so there's no way I'm ever gonna, you know, be able to do anything with these guys. But they're probably gonna go to the pinball pinball show in Allentown. When I see them, I'll go up to them and say, "What's up, yo?" But um, yeah, listen, you know, this, this is where I'm at. You know, I, don't, I have who I have. I can only do what I can do, and then when I need help, I call some texts. There's no chance I'm gonna be able to tear down games and rip them apart and, and do all that stuff. I'm gonna do what I can, and you know, I'm good. All right, so that, hey, I got one thing done. So now, I mean, this could be done too, put this whole thing back together again. I mean, right now, it's not going to make a big deal because I, I can just leave it. It ain't going anywhere. So I'm going to take it's gonna take me a little too much time, which I don't have right now. But I want to get the plate filled glasses back on most of the machines so it's not there. And then um, I have to move probably these arcade games this way, like the same thing over there. I'm going to have to probably just, oh my God. At least like two or three of them that way. So much, so much to do. It's all good. Pirate Pete! I remember Pirate Pete! Alright, so we did that one. Now, should I put Demolition Man back on? Yeah, I'm not getting into Demolition Man, so I'm gonna put the plate filled glass on Demolition Man. I don't know if you know my story of Demolition Man. My tech came and I'm pretty sure I took my cryo coal assembly. And I, I can't find it. I'm gonna look 
for it. It's a possibility. It's under a game, but I don't think so. It should have been inside the game. So I'm kind of bummed about that. And I looked online to see if I could buy a new assembly, which was, I don't think I need the whole thing. I think I just needed maybe um, a little board. But uh, no. that game is nothing without the crown ball. I need that crown ball back, so hopefully, hopefully this guy comes through. But usually people in this world don't. Uh, see what happens. But I'll figure it out. You can't bug out. You can't. You can't panic. You gotta. You gotta figure things out. So you can watch me put in demolition man. Oh Probably see you right there. Right? So my big fish shirt. Cannot wait to drive monster trucks. I do have some music playing in the background, but um, it's very low, so I don't get copyrighted. I'm still growing this YouTube channel. Dad, can you pour me my drink? Sure, dude. That's another thing. Like my kryptonite is my kids. So whenever I have my kids, everything stops. Like everything stops. I even wasn't going to work sometimes. I would like take off for work and not not uh. Go. Dad, I'm trying to get good at this game. Sweet. Take your time. And you got unlimited free guys, so you can play as much as you want. I think it's more better on this one. I think this one is like no level. Yeah. No. I think that's just here. So I gotta get the demolition man back glass. Let me play for glass. Am I gonna make it? Let's see. No, I don't know. I grabbed this Terminator 2 plastic at Pinfest. I think it was last year. I have the, the sticker somewhere. But it'll be good to uh, replace this when the time comes. Too. We don't curse in this channel either. I try not to, actually. Sometimes I let, let out a couple little lists and all that, but I mostly don't curse. Uh, I curse, of course. And, you know, this is, it's a crazy world. But um, when I'm with my kids, I try not to, unless I really have to make a point. Not to him, though, to my older kids. And I really don't even want to curse with them. So, but um, listen, I'm learning. I'm still learning with Dad. Dad. Yes. Okay. Sounds like... Go pop! What? Go pop! Good game. Okay, you do this one first or not? What's happening? Oh, man. 
Oh, it glitches. Yeah. Well, continue. Well, Remember the trick? You just hold the button and it just does it on its own. This one, look. That's it. The police the buttons. Look right here. Are you holding them? It's that one? Yeah, take it down. I found, I found the double shaman guy. Wait, don't. Let's spray it down. You just watch me do play for us. Like, like this is this a great video? <laughs> maybe, maybe you're whacked and you're like, no, look at this guy, he's doing play for the glass. Yeah, you do, you, you feel you figured out the uh, I got the bird, the trick. My, my brain is working. I'm just a little slow motion today. As always, not a bad one. What they call it? The nonsense? I need to get rid of my nonsense in my life. No. How does things turn like that? Oh, you were watching me do the other game. You were watching, you're supposed to watch me do Demolition Man. Okay. There. Okay, so you are watching me do Demolition Man. Okay, there. There's Demolition Man right there. Right there. Okay. How you doing? So a cheesy, a cheesy job. Good enough for now. Dad, look, I won. Oh, you're doing the um, the bonus board, the fruits, right? Demolition was like, I think my third game. I, I'm pretty sure. I can't, I can't. I found the Matahari, Matahari pinball, not the electrical mechan mechanic one, the, um, the digital one. Not the one with the uh, the dagger, the, the uh, insignia, the signature written in the dagger, which is like a big deal. Um, I bought my first pinball machine, it was Meteor, right? From Crazy Levy in, in New York City. And then um, after that, I went nuts. No pun intended. Um, I just can't remember if it was, uh, it was Elvira and Pony Monsters or Terminator 2 was my second or third, or third. I mean, my third or fourth game. But one of them. But definitely it was it was Elvira, Terminator 2, and Devil Man. Those were my first three. My first, like the first big ones that I got, which were my favorites as, as a, you know, a teenager. So, just sharing that with you. 
talking about out there from the 80s, late, the early, you know, early 90s of, of uh, pinball and arcades. Those are the classics, you know, Elvira, Terminator 2, Demolition Man. Those are like the, the best ones in that time. And then, then it went up to the, you know, the Adams Family and Twilight Zone. And um, I guess we, Medieval Manage was at the end when it was like the last one of, of Williams Valley. Not Williams Valley, Williams. Um, and Stern came out. I don't really know the history too much, but I do know certain titles that I obviously have plenty of film machines to know what what's what. But um, those are my three. Those are my faves right there. Terminator 2, Elvira Twilight Monsters, and Demolition Man. And I don't know which one I would say is the best one out of, out of my out of my faves. They're all my best. Top three. And everything else on here is just like bonus. So. And also, you know also what I liked a lot, a lot was um, was Cyclone, which I have to get to as well. That was one that has to be uh, figured out. My own mistake, because I changed the ramps and I didn't put them back the right way. And then I have kids and then all of a sudden you're distracted and you know. So that's done, that's done, that's good. I can't get the Terminator 2 here because I have to lift it up, which I'm not going to do right here. That's going to be. I can put in, I can put in Star Wars. Do I really need to though? It's more work to do than work. All right, so I'm done with putting the playfield glasses back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set them up in the corner right there, which where they don't get messed with. They'll just be on a, in a, a safe area, I would say. You know, if you get called that. But I'm gonna put them right now, place them up. I'm gonna lay them on something too, which will help in a way. I would love to put this thing back. Now. That was a people. Pong, bro. That's, a, Pong. That's an old school game. That's like the what, first video what game. What does the top say? Plum pop. Plum pop? Plum pop, yeah. Plum? Plum, like a plum? Plum. Pop. Is it plum plop or plum pop? I think it's plum pop. Plum? Yeah, plum pop. Plum pop. I'm gonna put these over there too, so we'll get these out here. This will help. These little things here, these things that will be good one day right now out of the way. Reach him, yeah. Good. Do as best you can. I'm gonna use do so. Go for it. That'll help. Went into a different mode. Okay, watch the play field glass right here, okay? Okay, 
Please feel like over there. I think I can fit. I think it's on the Corvette. I think it's around around the bend. Corvette. I think. Pretty sure. This one is black holes plain plain filled glass. It's way bigger than everything else.
the black hole wake up button. Okay. All right, so now, you just have to set up the This now. Still with me there? If you are, you guys rock. Or you're just like I felt you said, you're either drinking too much, you passed out, or you fell asleep. Now nah, I'm joking. You know what I do sometimes? I leave on channels that I watch, and I don't really like. It's not that I don't pay attention. I just leave them on, let them run, and, and it's like then I go back to it and see where they're at and stuff like that. So you know, it's part of what you're doing with me. So I'm like working behind you right now. So now you can see the play field glass is not there anymore. And I moved those those three sheets back there. And I put the other ones on the games and I put another one. I'll do this. I'm scared stiff. I actually have another translator of this. I just never put it on because this one's all jacked up. So, just leave it be for a little while. My lights, should I put them someplace? Whew. See what's gonna be nuts? Not nuts, but what, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to take off all these things that I put up there and put them on the pool table. And then the pool table's gonna be like super, super jacked up and cluttered again. But I have to do it. But I'm not gonna do it now. I'm gonna do a little bit now. I'm gonna move probably all these video games down before the night's over. You can see me do that next as I show you uh, Jack's cleaning the games for me. Not for me, but for us. Good dude. You can use a lot. You can use as much as you want. Like, use a whole bunch. Here, let me show you how much you can use. Yeah, you got so much. Yeah, because, because look. Here, you could, oh, you so could take as much as you want. Look how much we have. Here, here's all that. Remember how you do it when you do certain things? Fold it, right? Fold it. <laughs> yeah, fold it, man. Put it over here, get out of your way. Give you a little bit of help over here. I don't know, can you reach that? Get up there. Even though it doesn't work, it's still good to clean it. Right? People still like Pac-Man games. Oh, they love Pac-Man. Come on. They love Baby Pac-Man. Just don't touch this thing. Baby Pac-Man? Come on. And you can even do, look, you can even do the overlays, Jax, look. Well, it's better to go like this from behind. Now stand in front of it. Give yourself room. Put the stepper in front and work in front. You gotta give yourself room like this. Just pull it back and you can spray wet, a lot more space. Yeah, there you go. Look, I don't know, look, man. Look how good this game is. Doing a fantastic job, man. Look, I even got a Kobe game, I got a Kobe red. Well, one, once you spray it once, like, that's enough. Yeah. So you don't have to keep spraying it. Spray like like four or five times on that whatever spot and then just wipe it. Like, you don't have to spray anymore, you're good. You could use all the spray from over there and it goes over there. So let go of this. And now you just wipe. Yeah. Well, you got to dry it off though. So get another piece of, of dry. Dry it off. I mean, not dry it off. Get a nice piece of dry, dry paper. All right. Perfect. 
Oh yeah, I gotta clean that gate. That's dusty, man. Yeah. Really dusty. And be careful with this. This is like a very, very important piece of the game. The shell. But Jax, you gotta clean up. Jax, you gotta do that first. Finish. You gotta get wipe off all the stuff. No more spray. You gotta wipe it off. Otherwise, it's gonna get all cloudy. Remember, don't touch this thing right here. Okay? Don't get it wet either. I think that's all good. Okay, looks good to me. Then move the stepper in front of the game and do the next one. Keep going. Doing a fantastic job. Oh, you can make this closer too if you want, like this. Look. Move the stepper closer. No, get up. Right. There you go. Let's go nice and easy. But you need more paper. You don't want to get anything down there because then the whole game will ruin. So don't spray up there anymore. Just spray the sides. And you can do this part too if you want, like this. All that. Just keep using more paper. This thing is looking spotless, man. It's like super shiny. It doesn't even look like it's there. It's that clear. I gotta make look cube right lower. And that's what I'm actually gonna get to this week. I mean this weekend because cube will be moved. Yeah, cube we got fixed too. Yeah. It's looking like like it's it's not even there. It looks like it's invisible. That's how good it looks. Right? It's a nice long video, man. It's a good watch time. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna bring this bag of dump garbage over there so you can put the paper towels in it instead of all the flur. I'm here. Here's the paper towel bag, so when you're done with the paper Look, when you're done with the paper towels, put them in there. Dad. What? Can you, can you, can you do keywords talk? Or... Well, I have to clean all that stuff up. I mean, I'll get to it. But let me do a couple other things first. It's like, well, is he? Right, he got knocked in the head by a ball. Exclamation point. Okay, Jax, you gotta wipe off all the, the spray now. Okay? No more spray. Now you gotta wipe it off. Otherwise, it's all cloudy, right? Yeah. Hey, what's going on, guy? We'll see you in the future. We'll see you on YouTube, but I'm not gonna be here after tomorrow. No worries. Vaya con Dios. Alright, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna start moving these games, and you can watch me move them. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna end this video, and I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start doing it so you can see, start a new video of me maneuvering how I do this, which is very, very. Uh, it's like gotta hold your breath, but I will do that right now, and I'm gonna see if I have enough space here, unless I have to move the weapon more closer, which I don't think I can. Oh, man, this is gonna be so tight, and that's like maxed out over there too, the black hole. Um, no, I actually have a little space over there. So I actually move it back just a tad bit. Oh, we hit the one arrow mark on this video. Yeah. Get some, get some watch time. I'll just let you watch me do this. Hopefully I don't break anything. Is the belt in the way? Of course it is. I don't know if Vanessa is. Vanessa's supposed to be here. Yeah, I'm gonna push black hole back just a tad bit. You know, I'll put it on a not the far one. I'll put it on a closer one so you can see me do it. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I can actually make this higher. Do it like this. They can see me better. I guess you go here. Come on, that's fine.
far away. There we go. Hey, you even got some light. Oh, here he comes, the cleaner. Where you going? He's got his tools, he's got his bag of garbage, he's got his big roll of, of paper. Not toilet paper, but paper. All right, man, do it. Go for it. Yeah, look, it's actually in Remember how to spray like this? Look, spray from, look, from a distance. Back. Oh, but you're not going to be able to get to the top of it, so I'm going to have to help you. You are doing a great job. You'll probably be taller than me one day because you're my son and I'm a pretty big dude. You're gonna be a big dude. Well, Dad, can you help me? I'll, I'll finish the top. You just do the bottom. I just have to push back the black hole a little bit, a little bit more. And I'll do the rest of it. You just do what you can touch. And don't forget to do the, the lockdown bar. Look, do that too. That's it? Sure, why not? Got it. That gave me a little bit of room, and now I have this thing here, which the topper is always to the back, but... Let me push it forward a little bit.
All right, so I'm gonna start to bring these games down this row so I can get a little bit of clearance of what's going on. But first, before I do that, before I get to that move, I'm gonna just clean it, finish cleaning up this pool table, which, you know, it's getting there, and uh, put a couple more things away and then do that. And you'll see what I'm talking about when I get there. All right, I'm gonna upload this video. I'm gonna end it now. Anybody that watched this long, man, or well, woman, you rock. You rock. Hang, man, hang. Hang. Hang hardcore. Um, I know, that's it for now. So, like I said, end this video. i upload another one just of me doing this uh, maneuvering, which is very, very uh, strategic. And um, if you have any video games in your collection, you must have wheels. Must, must, must have wheels because those are the hardest ones. Well, not the hardest ones to move, but they're the easiest to move with wheels. Pinball machines are, are just what they are. They're beasts, and they're not easy at all. You have to really, really um, work them. So, all right. Jax, I'm ending the video. Let's say, say later, everybody. I know, I saw her. She didn't come down. I don't know what's going on. Um, all right, so say, say uh, what we say to the videos. We always say hang hardcore, but this is the game room, the Monte Arcade. So what do we say? Game. Game. 